2 million views in 24 hours. Are you kidding me? Turning my Corvette into a Lamborghini shook the world today. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how I did it. Now, would you take a look what got delivered today? A little package here from Morimoto. Now, a cool story about these lights. I found them while uh, just basically surfing on Instagram. A lot of cool Corvettes have these tail lights. And I was just like, I have to equip these ASAP. I did end up uh, sliding into the DMs of Morimoto Instagram. Shout out to Morimoto for hooking it up with these tail lights here. I cannot thank you guys so much over there at Morimoto and check these guys out. Let's do a satisfying unboxing here. Oh my God. Look at the, oh shoot, don't wanna break that, but wow. Look at these tail lights. Absolutely stunning. Black, aggressive, and mean. Just like these. I, I'm lost for words. These are the quote unquote Lamborghini Aventador style tail lights on the Corvette. Finally, after a while of having the Corvette, I finally have one of my dream modifications here, which are these tail lights. The C7 Corvette by far has the most aggressive rear end on a Corvette just by these tail lights. And having these Aventador style Lamborghini like tail lights, it's just gonna make the rear so much more aggressive, mean, sinister, and just overall transform the look of this rear end. So I love the stock tail lights. Don't get me wrong, these are awesome. But these, these are just better and I cannot wait to get these installed. This paired with the rear diffusers in carbon fiber, which I'll show you a photo right here, is what I'm shooting for. Absolute goals. This photo is with the ZR1 wing. I'm very interested to see how it's gonna be like with the Z06 stage three arrow wing that I currently have installed. So these tail lights with those rear diffusers is what I'm shooting for. Plus with the black diamond exhaust sticking out of the rear, that transformation of the rear is going to look so good. And one of the main reasons why I got these tail lights. If you're a new, consider subscribing down below. Also give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. We're gonna be installing these right now. Let's get started. I'll do like a little step-by-step -step or time-lapse of the full install should go pretty simple, but you never know with these types of things. This is going to be my first major uh, install here on the Corvette. It is also really, really hot today. I got my football playing on the iPad. I got my alcoholic beverage. What can possibly go wrong on this beautiful Sunday afternoon installing some tail lights on my Corvette? This should be loads of fun. All right, the first step is to take off this uh, trim, which I think you just looked up. Yep. And it pops right out. Just like that. That's probably the easiest part of this full install. Now there's a couple, I believe 10, 15 screws that we have to unbolt here for the bumper. So I'm just going to take all these screws off right here. Here now is to pop out this bezel with a trim piece tool, which you'll see me do right now. And just like that, we got the trim pieces right off the Corvette here. Check that out. It looks like it, uh, it was almost off. We still have a couple bolts. We got three bolts underneath the bumper, both sides, and then two bolts right here. We should be able to yank this thing off as well as one more bolt inside those. I think it's all the way back there, but uh, almost done. We're gonna do the three bolts underneath the rear bumper right now. And uh, once we get that, we'll move on to the next bolts that's needed. not going to take off the full entire bumper just because I don't know what's holding onto it right now after I took away all the bolts. So I just wedged microfiber. I should be able to get the remaining bolts to take out this tail light, which is right there and then pull it right out, have lots of room to do it. So I'm just going to work with what I got so I don't have to completely take the full bumper. We'll, uh, we'll do that and see how it goes. It 
able to get the uh, tail light finally popped out of the Z06. So now that we got the stock tail lights in, we're gonna start installing the brand new Morimoto Lamborghini Aventador style tail lights. I heard based on like different videos that if you install the reverse bezel first, which you have to disconnect it from the main one, it makes things a lot easier. So I'm gonna punch this in here, feed the cable through inside, and then we will install the Morimoto tail lights thereafter, reconnect it, and then connect the harness directly into. And check this out. Look at how aggressive that looks. That just looks so good. You can tell a huge difference. They're both mean, they're both aggressive, but this just has that added grunt to it. I don't know even how to explain it, but I am in love. Let's test them out here real quick and check that out. We got the sequential add-on as well. I'm so happy with the results here. Let me install the driver's side, get it all tidied up. Basically everything in reverse order should go pretty smooth. And uh, let's wait until daytime. Let's see how these are at night and the finished project. Just give me right. And this is the end result. I finally got the brand new taillights all installed, both sides, and it looks so good. What do you guys think? It's very reflective. I am going to wait for the sun to go down and show you guys a little bit more detail how they look like in the nighttime and get better views and just show you guys everything about it. So we'll wait here. The finished result is stunning. I absolutely love these taillights so much. So without further ado, here is how it it looks like in a darker setting. But man, oh man, this Batmobile, it definitely is coming along. All right, guys, and this is the final result. Comment down below what you think about these taillights. I personally love them. Absolutely love the design, love the functionality of it. They just look better, in my opinion. They make the car look more mean. And look at that, that is so, so cool. I absolutely love the sequential as well. Definitely sequential is a must whenever you have these taillights. It just looks so much better. And uh, I definitely need to black out the, those markers. I need to tint my license plate. And then I also need to get the tint on there. So I just ordered that. That should be coming in about a week so that we can make it a little bit more dark. But this definitely looks pretty badass. These taillights are definitely worth it and something that just makes me fall in love with my car even more now that it is installed. I still need to make this car more aggressive with those modifications that I just told you as well with Meteor tires. I think that's gonna look really, really good. But Morimoto, they just absolutely killed it with these tail lights. I am in love with every single one. Now it's not for everybody. I have seen some comments saying that they weren't really big fans and that's okay. It's not for everybody. But personally, since it's my car, I think it looks really nice. And as long as you like it, who cares what everybody else thinks, right? It's not their car. So I like it. We have more aggressive modifications coming our way, like the diffusers, like the tint, and a lot of good things to make this rear look even better. So that is pretty much all we have here for today. I'm gonna catch you guys. You're gonna see these taillights more and more as I continue making videos. So make sure to subscribe down below for that as well. Thank you guys so much. Give it a big thumbs up as well. Shout out Morimoto once again. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one for some more badass content on this Corvette. Guys, it's currently nighttime right now. I'm going to turn it on and show you guys how it looks. That looks awesome. Hold on. Let me turn on the power. Look at how nice that looks. That just looks so mean. I do need to do something with these lights. I kind of want to swap it up. I don't know if I want to go LEDs or make it darker, but that looks so good. <music>